Welcome to the Rose Rundown, where this is the rundown on movie, TV, and music. And today we're going to be talking about One Tree Hill because Sophia Bush and Hillary Burton they came out and said that they're bring they are bringing the show back with Netflix. So I'm very excited to see it. I think Lucas is not going to be a part of it. So who's going to be a part of it? Is it going to be like you two, like raising your kids as teenagers now, I'm assuming? Will we get to see Jamie? Will we get to see Haley? Will we get to see Nathan? Who are we going to get to see? Like, is this just about you two? Like, it kind of gives laugh like Gilmore Girls, but said like a mother or daughter is like two best friends. Is that what we're going to see? Because I know them and Haley. I don't know, because, like, the podcast that they have, the Drama Queens podcast, because, you know, Hillary left the podcast, and the guy, oh, what's his name, Robert Buckley, Clay, is taking um her place, so I'm like, I don't know what's going on there, but anyways, we're just going to get started with the characters, Um, we will see as more developments happens with this show, obviously, that I will come out and tell y'all, because pop culture is my thing, if y'all haven't noticed around here, pop culture and gaming is my thing and that's what I'm gonna stick to because it's my thing so um anyways we are gonna talk about Lucas Scott Lucas Scott played by Chad Michael Murray now before he got this role he was actually in Gilmore Girls as Tristan the Grey and they had written him off so he can go be on One Tree Hill and let me just say I loved watching Lucas um he was um Chad as Lucas he was on the show for like six seasons I definitely want to rewatch it again like I'll rewatch it today whatever and I loved seeing them um him and Nathan not really getting along at first his friendship with um Haley him dating um Brooke and then ending up marrying Peyton having a child this that and the third um I'll give his character like a seven then we have Nathan Scott, played by James Lafferty. He was actually the youngest of the cast. Um, I'm going to give him an 8. Um, so, of course, as I said, Nathan and Lucas are like half-brothers, you know. And they would be arguing. They wouldn't get along. Nathan actually was dating Peyton in the beginning of the show. Married Haley. Had two kids. And had this whole basketball career. I really liked nathan's storyline a little better because we do see a point like where everything falls apart for him and he gets it back so um, then we have miss peyton sawyer by hillary burton morgan let me say i forgot to say her married name morgan um hillary in the beginning of the show peyton in the beginning of the show uh we're gonna give her like a seven um she was dating nathan and then she was dating jake and then she married, uh, like, she was dating Julian at one point. Like, she, little girl, young lady was going through it. And um, she was best friends with Brooke. And then later on was best friends with Haley. And um, she definitely went through it. Like, she learned that her parents weren't her parents, um, that she was adopted. Her adoptive mother died of cancer. Uh, she almost lost her baby. Um, got in a car accident, this and the third. Oh, and I forgot to say about Nathan. He was in a car accident as well. I forgot to say that. And Lucas, now we circling back, he had a car condition and he kind of had a heart attack. Like, that's crazy. But, um, yeah, I'll give her, um, a seven. Um, Haley James Scott, Bethany Joy, Bethany Joy. So, I did not realize this. But she was Marnie and Bring It On again. And she was so annoying in that movie. But I love her as Haley. Like, out of the three girls, she's my favorite. Because she was friends with Lucas. And, like, she didn't really like Nathan like that. But, you know, she, he, she was tutoring him. And they fell in love. And they got married. Not sure. I can't remember why. As many times as I watched the show, I should remember the why. But yeah, and then like there's this whole thing with her um, kissing that that guy, um, Tyler, Chris Keller. And like there was a point where they almost got divorced because that whole nanny Carrie thing. Like that, that she was a bitch. And <laughs> um, yeah, but I'll give her a 10. Then we have Dan Scott, played by Paul Johansson. 
Now, if you all watch the show, then you know that Dan Scott got killed off, which was shocking because consider everything he did throughout the shows, like mistreating Deb, mistreating his brother, never caring for Lucas, Nathan and um, him's relationship strained, um, him not really liking Haley like that. Um, mm. Paul, Paul Johansson is an amazing actor, by the way. But I'm going to have to give Dan a five. Like, after everything that he did, and he killed his own brother? You getting a five, dude. I'm sorry. You getting a five. Okay, Brooke Davis, played by Sophia Bush. So, Sophia Bush has been in a lot of different things, like Good Sam. Um, she was in that Chicago PD show. She's been in movies. John Tucker Must Die. Loved her in that one. But, um, yeah, like, she... She went through it as well. Like, she was class president. She got caught cheating on a test. She had her clothing line. I will give Brooke a nine. I like Brooke. Okay, the next one is Whitey. Still alive. I thought something happened to him because I don't know. But he was the coach. We only see him um, in the first four seasons. And he's a guest in five. In the seasons five and six. And he is the coach to, like, Lucas and Nathan. And, like, he's there for them. And, yeah. So, we're going to give him a six. Keith Scott, played by Craig Schaefer. We're going to give him a seven. He was only part of the first three seasons. Um, uh, The first three seasons. And he got killed by his brother. And made it look like it was Jimmy Edwards when it wasn't even him. Um. He ended up having a child of his own. So along with being uncle to Lucas. And he was about to adopt Lucas too. Lucas and Nathan, he had a daughter. Yeah, he had a daughter. So, you know, I'll give him a six. Okay, Lucas' mama, Karen Rowe, Moria Kelly. Um, She was kind of in and out of the show. Uh, let me see. And she was a main the first four seasons, then five and six. And we never saw her again. She ended up, you know dating a teacher at, before and then got back with Keith, uh, Keith. She had her cafe and then I guess she gave the cafe to Haley and then she started running it. Uh, we're going to give her like a four. We don't really see that much of her. Okay, Deb, she's in the season some more. Played by Barbara Allen Woods. You have maybe have seen her daughter in like um, the Young and the Restless, um, Bold and the Beautiful, Deborah, I mean, Barbara has been in her own things as well. Um, I'm gonna give her a seven because she dealt with a lot with Dan. She was drunk. She was on pills. She pushed Haley down when she was pregnant. Like, I'm telling you, they had their own things. These shows had their own things. Um, Lee Norris. I mean, Mouth, played by Lee Norris. He was a recurring character. We get to see him be this sportscaster. He gets to have a wife at the end. Um, we're going to give him a seven. Antoine Tanner, Skills. So we see Skills. Skills was actually in the Parkers and a lot of other black shows. He is the basketball player as well. Like, he joins the team. And we get to see him marry, um, what's her name? Give um, Antoine a seven. Rachel Gatina, played by Danielle Harris. Y'all may know her husband because he was on Supernatural. And um, she was in a movie with Peyton. Now, that is somebody that they should bring back when they do this reboot. Bring Rachel in. I would like to see because she was married to Dan Scott. Why did you marry Dan Scott, Rachel? Why <laughs> did you marry Dan Scott? She was a model. She was struggling. Um, she helped Brooke cheat on the math test. She was a bad girl in school. Uh, we're going to give her a seven. Um, Jamie Scott, played by Jackson Brundage. I can't believe he's all grown up. Like, when he started the show, he's like five. And I think he's like 21, 22 now. So, that is crazy. Um, you know, he is Haley and Nathan's son. If they do bring Haley and Nathan onto the show, can we please see Jackson Brundage, a.k.a. Um, Jamie, back on the show, please? Because, like, that would be awesome. Millicent, played by Elisa Goldstein. Um, she is Mouth's wife. Um, she actually had cheated on him, lost her virginity to the guy, and like she's you know Brooks' um assistant and everything. So we're gonna give her a six. Julian Baker, played by Austin Nichols. I'll tell y'all the first time I ever saw him. 
Y'all know the movie with Megan Fox and Mary Kate and Ashley. He was in the movie as Mary Kate's best friend, um, Julian. I mean, um, Austin was in that movie. And I was like, when I saw him in there, I was like, man, I remember him from somewhere. He ended up being Brooke's husband. They actually dated in real life and broke up. I don't think they're, he's going to be a part of the show. The, the reboot, I do not think he's going to be a part of it at all. Like, I don't know what's up with that. But we'll give him a seven. Clay Evans, Robert Buckley. He is on the Drama Queens podcast talking about the show with the ladies. Um, Clay definitely went through it like he lost his wife he forgot that he had a child like i don't know how you forget you have a child that's some very like melrose soap opera shit that they put in here like it really was but i'm um, give him a seven quinn james chantelle van staten van santon um she is Haley's older sister and we see her marry um Clay will give her a seven. Alex Dupree played by Jana Kramer. Y'all may know her. She has she has like three kids, four kids, I think. And she just got married again. And um she's a country singer and she's about to have another album out. And yes, I will be listening. Because I love Jana Kramer. Um we'll give her character like a five. Like she was kind of annoying. Like she was so desperate for Julian's attention that she slit her wrist, this and the third, the drinking, this, that. Then she was with the guy from Laguna Beach, Stephen Coletti, um, on the show, like dating Chase. And yeah, speaking of, which brings me to Chase, um, Chase Adams played by Stephen Coletti. This was Stephen's first acting role and probably his last because I've never seen him in anything else. I don't think I, we would see him a part of the reboot either because like he was dating her, but then he went to date um Kate Vogel's character. I forgot her name, which I'll find her in a minute. Giving him a seven. And Chris Keller, um, he was kind of annoying. Love the actor. Don't get me wrong. And the singer. But um, we're going to give him a four. Um, let me see if there's anybody else. Yeah, they're not showing anybody else. But that is it. Will y'all be watching that reboot on Netflix? I probably will be. It depends. If y'all can at least get half of the cast back, because I know y'all going to get a new director, because after what that dude did to those women, I fully support it. Like, anybody want to see that dude making no more shows for anybody? But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe, y'all girl, on the road to monetization. And I'm getting closer every single day. And again, if you want to request a topic, let me know. Because I got this one for my worst of best list when this was like the very first shows I did. But I'll see y'all next time. Bye.